Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, Alfa's current owner, this week revealed a strategy for the sporty Italian brand to race from 0 to 150,000 sales in just four years. But industry experts, some citing the more than two decades it took Volkswagen's Vau under Scarpi.de, Audi brand to achieve that market level, say the plan is overly ambitious. And it is mathematically possible for Alpha to sell 150,000 in North America by 2018, but so is winning the lottery LMC automotive analyst Jeff Schuster said. And Chief Executive Sergio Marchione and his team revealed their strategy for Alfa Romeo on Tuesday as part of a five-year plan to establish Fiat Chrysler as a strong global automaker. But Fiat's Biz FIA.MI shares fell so quickly on Wednesday that trading in them was suspended briefly. And critics of the Alpha Rejuvenation Plan, including investors, industry analysts and bankers, cite concerns about distribution, the challenge of bringing eight new models to market in such a short time frame and the intense competition of the market. And this is not the first time Marquion said Alpha was coming to the United States. In January 2013, he said, for sure, it would return that year with the 4 degrees centigrade sports group. The car is now expected to make it to the U.S. market later this year, followed by a higher volume model in late 2015. And industry observers say Marquion had better have his backup plan ready. And 150,000 sales, what's Lincoln doing this year? And they're trying, said a banker who asked not to be named referring to Ford's luxury brand, which sold about 82,000 vehicles last year. And Fiat's plan depends on several elements that leave observers cold, starting with selling Alpha vehicles through Fiat showrooms. And Alpha will only work if it's got a dedicated facility or it is paired with another luxury brand, said Jim Ziegler, a U.S. auto dealer consultant. You can't have the same sales team selling $17,000 cars from one brand and $60,000 cars from another. It just doesn't work that way. And Fiat Chrysler is expected to sell Alphas at its best-performing Fiat dealers, as well as high-end Maserati dealers. Fiat dealers number 344 in North America, while Maserati locations total 91. And Harold Wester, CEO for Alpha and Maserati raised eyebrows when he said eight new Alpha models would be introduced from late 2015 through 2018. And, they've got to develop in the space of four years an entire portfolio of the Hercules Auto Trends analyst Joseph Filippi said. That's a huge engineering challenge. And while the U.S. luxury market is growing, the competition is fierce. Mirko Michalik Senior Portfolio Manager for Clear Art Capital, said it is hard to believe Alfa Romeo will come in and start muscling out rivals. And among them are well-established brands such as Daimler's Dane.de, Mercedes-Benz and BMW, BMW G.de, which are only making it tougher for competitors as they push down market to vehicles starting as low as $30,000, analysts and bankers say. And Alpha's planned North American return after leaving in 1996 was preceded by the reintroduction of Fiat in 2011. However, sales of the subcompact Fiat 500 have disappointed and Fiat dealers are struggling with only two models to sell. Fiat sales in the United States and Canada were about 51,000 last year. And in acknowledging that the company's overall plan for the 2014 to 2018 period is aggressive, Marquione said he understood Wednesday's nearly 12% drop in the stock price. We've had a phenomenal run in 2014. And I am not surprised that people took some money off the table, he said. And Marquione also said he can pull the plug on the plan to invest 5 billion euros, $7 billion, to remake Alpha. And that did not make investors feel any better about an overall plan that includes the goal of boosting annual global sales by about 60% from 2013 to 7 million vehicles. And Fiat Chrysler also intends to boost its U.S. market share to 15.8% from 11.4% last year. That would position it for second place, and analysts and bankers say Ford Motor Co. F.N. and Toyota Motor Corporation, 7203. 
she will not let anyone pass them without a fight. And even believers know they are taking a chance. Whoever bets on fight today, bets on a possibility, on a potential, said Roberto Lottici, fund manager at Defigest. An additional reporting by Ben Clayman and Agnieszka Flack and Detroit editing by Dan Grebler and back to top and Thomson Reuters is the world's largest international multimedia news agency, providing investing news, world news, business news, technology news, headline news, small business news, news alerts, personal finance, stock market, and mutual funds information available on Reuters.com, video, mobile and interactive television platforms. Trumps and Reuters journalists are subject to an editorial handbook which requires fair presentation and disclosure of relevant interests. NNYSE and Amex quotes delayed by at least 20 minutes. NASDAQ delayed by at least 15 minutes. For a complete list of exchanges and delays, please click here.